What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Be sure to like what's up and let's get into this. Disney Star Wars may be over, but my love of original OG Star Wars has never been stronger. And among that, I'm going to include the mini fan films, all of which are better than anything we've uh, seen Disney give out. Uh, one of which is the Old Republic Rescue Mission. And this is specifically one that uh, stars Revan, uh, at least in part of it. Uh, and Mission, Mission Veo, uh, this is after the first game where Revan has all his memories. He remembers the old Sith Empire and he's recruiting allies to go fight them. Obviously, we saw that actually uh, the storyline play out in the Old Republic MMO, uh, in the Revan book. But here we go. When people say that you can't do Revan in live action or that because everyone has an idea of what their Revan was like, trust me. I played the Old Republic a billion times, Knights of the Old Republic. I love Revan. Of course, we all print a bit of ourselves on the character. This is how Revan should be depicted. So the long and short of this is Rev, uh, Revan is here to rescue Mission, who's been kidnapped by some Mandalorians. This is like a 20-minute plus fan film. Really good. This is an excerpt of the uh, the Revan part. The meat. The meat from the meat and potatoes. So here we go. Let's get into this. And this is the Jedi. She's there uh, trying to also, just on the behalf of the Council, bring Revan in. Um, and uh, yeah, this is her companion, who's not a Jedi. He's like a robot or something, but okay. Revan. Not a step further. I am not here for you. Come peacefully, Revan, and I'm sure the Council will take your past actions into consideration. You may be given a chance to reform. I bear knowledge of the Council's justice, and I am a standing testament to their reform. His voice is, like, perfect. I am doing what is necessary to end this conflict for good. Let me pass. No. You will face the Council, or you will die here. Perfect use of the uh, the music from Night's Old Republic. Embracing the dark side is not the answer. I'm so good of you to think so. <laughs> Do not presume to tell me my path when you walk yours blind. I love that. Do not presume to tell me how to walk my path when you walk yours blindly. Boy, that sounds like some things in modern day. The Force existed long before the Jedi and the Sith divided it into light and dark. If this is, I love that the Force existed before the Jedi divided it into light and dark. And it's one of the things they always sort of get to in the lore and then go away from is that you can't have one without the other and palpatine was sort of right when he was like if you wanted to understand the grand mystery you have to look at both the light and the dark you can't just do what the jedi say you can't just do what the sith uh say we'll be here long after all of these empires come <laughs> You cannot hold me to the Jedi's rules. Is that how you justify hundreds of deaths? Using Sith ways to cut innocent people down? And what of the Jedi? We use it for good. Define good. And you, this is interspersed between uh, Mandalorians having a fight out with New Republic soldiers in the original fan film. But I love notice that um, he's just questioning her. He's not real. He's like probing her, making her think about all the things that she's just like blindly uh, saying to him. He did the thing. This is why the Jedi will never achieve peace fool to listen to your masters if they tell you there is only one way. The Sith deals in absolutes, which is an absolute. You must be prepared for the next Sith you face. 
into your lives. I am not safe. how easily he dismantles them also i think revan ends up basically coming to uh i mean he was one of the best Jedi, and then he was one of the best Sith. And then at the end, uh, I think he really came to, after he got his memories back, something more uh, called the potentium uh, viewpoint or potentium, where it's sort of like both light and dark um, in balance, as the Force should be, uh, where you don't ignore one or the other and you don't favor one or the other. Now, it's, this is the hardest version of the Force, but I also think it's probably the most correct. <laughs> Oopsies, there go your legs. It's a robot anyway. Base. Punch her in the stomach. <laughs> And now I think we see what really drew uh, people to Revan is his ability to speak truth to them through ideology. All their passions, he would streak, speak truth right into them. There is no power a Sith holds that a Jedi cannot choose to wield. You must be strong enough to master the Force in its entirety. It's all about tension. <laughs> I do what is necessary. Show me your mastery of the Force, Jedi. Show me! Force lightning, which I guess we'll stipulate the difference between Sith lightning and just force lightning, takes strong emotions, strong passions, anger being one of them. But anger can be righteous anger. There's a distinction. That's the that's what uh, Revan was trying to explain to her. The intention behind your anger and what it's focused on matters. This is also what Kyle Katarn talks about. The Force does not control you, young one. You saved your guardian using something you thought was abhorrent. But your motives are still aligned with the Jedi Code. Hashtag, that's my Revan. Consider my words. Consider my words. Yeah, that's my Revan. Holy hell. I will link to the full fan film, uh, The Old Republic Rescue Mission, and I'll link to this one, the excerpt from it. Um, if you were to ever show a Revan in flashbacks or whatever, that's how he should look, sound, act. That is completely in line with any playthrough of The Old Republic or Knights of Old Republic that I've ever played through. And oddly enough, when we ended up seeing him depicted in uh, The Old Republic video game, that's sort of how he sounds and looks, um, although better here, actually. So, yeah, 
wow, that still hits just as hard as ever. And that was more emotionally compelling than anything in Disney Star Wars. Oh, boy. Anyway, let me know what you thought of that. Uh, be sure to like, share, and sub if you have done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And damn, maybe you go up, play some Old Republic. Well.